Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and I am here today to announce the winner of my No Spend November giveaway. I hope you'll stick around and see if it was you. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel and you would like to get in on my next giveaway, make sure to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I had such a fun time in November challenging myself to use my stash and challenging you as well. There were so many wonderful cards made. I loved seeing each and every one of them. In front of me are some of the cards that I made during the month for the challenge series. And if you want to check out any of these videos, I will have that No Spend November playlist in the description box below. Here in just a minute, we will change over to my computer screen and I will draw for the winner. But before we get to that, I just want to say a couple things. First of all, again, thank you to everyone who participated. I loved seeing what you made and that you were inspired to create using your stash right along with me. I honestly wish I could have given you each something. If you did play along and your name is not the name chosen today for the winner, make sure to stay subscribed and keep checking back. Because this is a pretty timely kit that I'm giving out, I do want to make sure that the winner contacts me right away. So the first winner has until midnight on December 5th to contact me to claim the prize. If he or she doesn't, then I will do one more redraw and I'll post that video on the 7th. So don't despair if your name isn't drawn today. It could always happen later. And let me tell you, with most of my giveaways, it's usually the second person who ends up claiming it. But we'll cross our fingers today, right? Before we get to that, let's take a look at the prize that the winner will receive. The lucky winner today is going to receive the Gina K Designs Sparkle and Shine Card Kit. This came out in October and it sold out pretty quickly and I snagged two of them because I knew I wanted to do this giveaway in November. Now you can buy all of the pieces individually now on Gina K's site, so I will make sure to link those in the description box below, but this as a card kit is no longer available. Just a heads up that if you do enjoy Gina K Designs products, this is a great way to add to your collection. When you buy this card kit, it's like $60, but if you have to go buy these separately, it's way more than that. This card kit has three stamp sets. You get a 6x6 stencil, three stitch tag dies, and three snowflake dies. You also get eight pieces of cardstock, and her cardstock is a nice heavy weight. Here's a look at the cardstocks. You get red velvet, fresh asparagus, turquoise sea, and craft. The stencil is super detailed and is gorgeous. I used it on the background of this card, which was one of the challenge cards. And you'll see later that the focal image and actually the tag die cut are also from the kit. Here's a look at the dies. I love the stitching on these and the intricate details on the snowflakes. And last, but certainly not least, are the three stamp sets. These are all winter holiday and winter related. And here on the right, again, you might notice that Christmas bobble from the card I just shared. All right, are you ready to see if it's you who won? Let's flip over to my computer screen. So after the deadline was up and the comments were all left, I went and created a Google Sheet and I went through each of the videos and confirmed the links were valid entries and I put those all together in a spreadsheet. You'll see here at the end I added a bonus entry if you followed me on Instagram, but again to earn that bonus entry you did have to play along in at least one of the challenges. I do want to thank those of you who went ahead and followed me on Instagram even if you didn't play along and enter to win the giveaway. 
Speaking of bonus entries, I had the best of intentions of doing more hidden bonus opportunities throughout the series, but unfortunately I ran out of time. So I decided that anybody who had played along in every single challenge would earn three extra bonus entries. To figure out who this applied to, I copied and pasted the names from that first sheet into a new document, and I sorted those by name, which then showed me which number challenges they participated in. I then typed these names back in that first spreadsheet and noted next to it that they should have three bonus entries. This list then got pasted into another sheet on that document, and this is the final one that I used for the drawing. You see the one IG bonus, and then for the blackout bonus, where they would get three entries, I copied and pasted those names three total times. This left me with a total number of entries of 202. To choose the winner today, I'm going to be using the random.org website, and all I have to do is put in my minimum is one, my maximum is 202, and then I click on generate to find out who won. Once I click on that, it gives me a random number, and the winner is number 145, which let's go and see who that is. And congratulations goes to... Deneen Cook. Yay! Congratulations, Deneen. Make sure to keep watching to find out how you're going to claim your prize. Congratulations. I am so excited for you. Here is how you're going to claim this prize. Like I mentioned before, you do need to claim it by midnight on December 5th, 2020. You'll send me an email at callmecraftyal at gmail.com and let me know that you were the winner of the No Spend November giveaway. And then you have to come back to this video. Leave a comment below with the first three letters of your email address. That way I can connect that email to your account here. Now you might think I'm goofy for that two-step process, but I will tell you that last time when I had some gift card giveaways, I had one of the prizes try to be claimed by the person who was not the winner. And I'm glad that I have this process because I then knew that I needed to wait for the real winner and she did eventually email me. Once you have left your comment here with those first three letters, I will then contact you for your mailing address. I'm hoping that you get back to me in time so I can mail it this Friday when I go to the post office. If not, it would be next week before I could mail it. Again, I want to say thank you to everyone who entered. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.